Hi, my name is Vojtěch Poček and I'm developer of Multirom. In this video I would like to show you what Multirom is and how does it work. So firstly, it is a boot manager. It works kind of like Grab on PC. On Nexus 7 this allows you to have multiple Android ROMs and other Linux based ROMs installed simultaneously while keeping the one in internal memory intact. Uh, aside from Android, it can boot basically anything which has Linux kernel. This is because it uses kexec to boot ROMs kernel and configuration file to set kexec's parameters. Again, it is kind of like grab with its configuration file. The Linux ROMs themselves must be modified a bit, uh, but it is quite easy and it is described on Multrom's wiki. I will put a link to that to description. So this is the main UI. This is the list of ROMs, the list of ROMs which are installed in internal memory, like on the virtual SD card which Nexus 7 has. I can just select one and press boot. Uh, Multro can also boot from USB drive. I have one USB drive attached right now, so I switch to that. And these are all the ROMs which are installed on the USB drive. There is quite a lot of them because I use them for testing. Uh, that's about it for the UI. The last thing is the miscellaneous tab. Uh, from here you can reboot the device or shut it down. I will now reboot the recovery because I use modified TeamWin recovery to install new ROMs and to merge existing ones. So now we are in the modified TeamWin recovery. It is mostly the same, just under advanced there is new menu item, it's called Multirom. It contains a few options, the first one is to add a new ROM. Using this menu you can install either Android or Ubuntu ROMs. Uh, let's say I want to install a new Android ROM, so I just leave it on Android and I want to share kernel. Uh, I also want to install it to my USB drive, so, just, so I select that. Now the next, next step is to select the source of the ROM. I can either use zip files, like the standard zip files which you can download from XDA, or backup. Now this is quite interesting because these backups are the usual backups which you can make with TeamWin Recovery, uh, but Multirom can restore them as a new entry in the boot manager. This means you can restore the backup without uh, wiping the, your main Android ROM. I believe this, this can be quite useful. So the next, next option is to list ROMs. Uh, these are the ROMs in internal memory. I can switch to a flash drive and select, select one of the ROMs. This is Cyanogen mod. I can rename it, I can delete it or I can flash zip to it. This option is to flash and zip directly into this ROM. So if I install it, I usually want uh, Google Apps in it. So I use this option to install them. Now these two options are a bit more complex. Uh, so I'll explain them in the XDA thread. Uh, the last option is settings. There is only one settings which allows you to set auto boot. Uh, this means that uh, the device will boot one of the ROMs automatically without wa waiting for you to select it after like uh, whatever amount of time you set. I set it to 10 seconds so that you can clearly see it when I reboot it. Uh, so this is about it for the recovery. I will now reboot to Multiram so that you can uh, see the auto boot feature. Uh, if you want to know more about the Multiram Oh, uh, here it is. This is the auto boot window. You can touch anywhere to cancel it. Uh, as I said, if you want to know more about Multirom or want to make your Linux, Linux ROM compatible with it, uh, just check the links in, in the description, check the wiki, check the XDA thread. Uh, I will now boot several ROMs to show you that it really works. And I just stopped talking. <laughs> uh, so, if you if you like it, then I'm glad. If you uh, could spare a few bucks uh, as a donation, I'd be even happier. And that's about it. Bye.
to wake me